Good morning, everybody. It's me, Waddles, and I can't believe it. Minecraft 1.21.50, also known as the Bundles of Bravery drop, the first one under this new update system. Well, after so many years, we, we made it. This is an emotional day, my friends. The finish line, we're finally here. It's a new Minecraft update, you know what that means. So like we like to do over here consistently at this time, here is everything included in this brand new drop. 1.21.50. Yes, man, they really got to fix these update numbers. If you think these big drops should be solid numbers like 1.22, tap that like button, send that message over to Mojang, and let's go. Now, I hate to get all mushy in the beginning of the video today, but mushrooms. Most specifically, the mushroom block. Inside of this update, we have the removal of a block from the creative inventory. So big fans of creative mode Minecraft and building with mushroom blocks may remember that previously, the all pale sided mushroom block, the one that I can't figure out how to create inside of this update. Basically, previously, there was a fourth one inside of this inventory and it's now gone. A little bit more specifically, the specific mushroom block that I'm talking about here is the block that looks something like this on the inside, you know, with that dotty pale tone going on. But just you wait, there's more, because related to the mushroom block, the mushroom stem block, it now has its own block variant and is no longer just a spin-off of the other ones. And, and, and one final mushroom change inside of this update, when the mushroom stem block is placed into a composter, it will now have a 65% chance to raise the composter fill level to the next level. So that time it didn't work, this time, I mean, it's gotta work for sure. Previously, when it came to the stem block and how much it would raise the composter, it had an 85% chance of bumping it up another level. Now, flashback, throwback, rewind. Minecraft Live a couple of weeks ago, this big update, the name was revealed. The Bundles of Bravery drop. The Bundles of Bravery drop, predictably. <laughs> it's kind of all about one big thing. Well, two big things on Minecraft to Bedrock. If you're on Minecraft to Java, kind of one big thing, but there's a lot of other changes too. By the way, if I don't already, I'll have a Minecraft to Java video out for this update sometime soon too. Keep your eyes peeled. Ah, yes, but anyways, the star of the show, there is really kind of only one. No matter what version of the game you're playing, inside of this update, grab yourself a piece of leather, a piece of string, slide over to the crafting table, drop the leather anywhere, drop the string somewhere above it, and just like that, the bundle, after being in the queue for like four years now, at last, the final Caves and Cliffs update feature, it's made it. Now, on to the note of the bundle, there's a whole lot to this thing. More specifically, like 16 and a half minutes to this thing. I went ahead and made an in-depth bundle guide for you on everything that you want to know about the bundle, including best uses, stacking potions, and even more. That video, the card for it, it is linked on screen right now, but don't you dare touch it. Check it out after this video. For today, a quick intro to the bundle. After you craft this thing, inside of your inventory, if you pick up something and drop it on the bundle, then it will be inserted into the bundle. Now, the bundle can hold up to 16. 64 individual items or alternatively up to one stack of items as i slowly start to queue things up into the bundle i can see right here the tool tip it expands and expands and expands eventually once i max things out here i'll be able to see three separate rows now if i want to select something inside the bundle all i need to do is scroll as i scroll i slowly move through all of the different items well i have something selected like let's say the dandelion beautiful yellow i can go ahead and interact again with the bundle and pull that thing straight out of the bundle clean but let's go ahead and put that back into the bundle for now and move it down to the hot bar while holding the bundle if i press the drop item button so on keyboard q i will drop well, well the bundle <laughs> but instead maybe a little bit more useful if i use the bundle then one item a single one at a time is spit out of the bundle the items will be spit out in order from top all the way down to the bottom that means the next item it's a peony now let's say I went ahead and had a lot of items that I wanted to put inside of the bundle. Well, check this out, because right now I have three rows of things. As soon as I drop another one in, that bottom row is bumped down, changed into a number, and I can now continue filling the bundle up with even more things. The fastest way to unload a bundle is probably quickly use the bundle repeatedly, something like that. Now up to a stack of items. A stack is different for every type of item in the game. Some items, in fact, most items, they stack into a stack of 64 blocks. If that's the case for those things, you can put up to 64 inside of the bundle. Other things like maybe snowballs stack of 16 16 snowballs fills the bundle other other things maybe like tools or whatever a stack of one that means one thing and can fill the bundle but this is just a plain old classic bundle maybe i want to say go ahead and level up that bundle maybe get it the most beautiful colored bundle in the game or a pink bundle well to dye the bundle inside of the crafting table place one single piece of dye next to the bundle somewhere and you'll be able to dye it 
Now, when you die a bundle, you can die over the bundle to change the color. However, these die colors, they are not mixing. There are only 16, 17, if you want to count the undyed bundle, different colors of the bundle. Also, you cannot dye the bundle in a cauldron, and once you dye the bundle, there is no way to wash that coloring off. So once you dye your bundle, you better be sure of that color. Isn't that right, Bonzo? Huh? Nice of you to show up, man. So today, for a quick intro to bundles, there you go. After this video, to enlighten yourself even more, check out that Everything Series video. Let's move on. Lately, Mojang has been on fire when it comes to sound design. In one of the more recent Bedrock updates, the spawner got some new play sounds, some new break sounds, and most importantly and relevant for this video today, new walk sounds. Those walk sounds, mm hmm you kind of kind of hear them there. The sounds for walking on a spawner are now the correct sound. And speaking of spawners, the trial spawner from the summer's update. The hit sound for the trial spawner. That little sound right there, very metallic. Well, its volume is now also correct as well. Commands, they're one of the most powerful things in the entire game. One of the most useful commands is definitely going to be the effect command. With the help of the effect command, you can go ahead and grant yourself any effect in the entire game. Previously, in seconds, you would have had to specify a time value in seconds for the duration of this effect. Now, if you want to, you can simply say infinite and give yourself an effect infinitely. Now, I'm Bedrock. I don't remember the key. and in, in fact, I can never remember the key bind to show you the effect menu, but you got to trust me. This effect is lasting... Oh, that's definitely not it. Just trust me. This effect is going to last forever. The flattening. It's a term if you've checked out some of my update videos before, you might have heard me say. If you follow the preview videos that I dropped for these updates, you have also heard me talk about it there. Well, in this update, the flattening, it continued for the mushroom block. It continues for the head block as well. So the flattening really is like a whole technical side of the block type of thing. Any game, survival side, all of these blocks will be exactly the same. Only their block IDs have changed. Previously, they were all just head blocks. Now, we have individual IDs for each one of these different heads. I put the specific ID, in case you were curious, on the glowing sign beneath you, Chet. It's all pretty straightforward stuff, though. Flashback, throwback, rewind again to Minecraft Live. At Minecraft Live, we learned about the bundle. We learned about the brand new game mode at last only 10 years later, making it over to Minecraft Bedrock Edition. It's here. The Bundles of Bravery drop. On Bedrock Edition, that name makes sense because of the bravery thing. Well, to check out this next mode, you've got to be brave. From the main menu, which will look a little bit different for you in the full version, tap Create New World. When creating a new world, you've got a new option right down here. Now listen, listen. Ooh, it's on fire. It sounds so good. And then you can put it out as well. This new option right here, Hardcore Minecraft. If you want to up the difficulty inside of your world, well, if you want to change that difficulty, go ahead and flick this switch on. And right there, you get that hardcore mode frame right next to your world name. That's so cool. Now, when you flip this on, you are locked into hard difficulty survival mode. If we slide over to cheats, cheats are absolutely not going to be allowed in hardcore mode. At advanced world settings, certain settings inside of this menu are also disabled because of hardcore mode. For example, the starting map and a bonus chest. They're gone. Now, once you've settled into your decision to commit to hardcore mode, you tap the create world button. Another warning pop up. It's just letting you know that hardcore mode, you got one shot and then you're done. Now, just like I did for the bundle, a hardcore mode, pretty big part of the update. I made an in-depth guide for hardcore mode, how to get started, get your foot in just right, and some different tricks, and maybe even how to make it even harder core. If the uh, timelines all uh, work out correctly and there's not like a massive leak or something, that guide should already be out. But if it's not out yet, subscribe and stay tuned. Hardcore Minecraft. Aside from those different world settings, once you jump into the world, it's exactly the same Minecraft experience. Except it's absolutely not at the same time. Hmm, so let's say maybe I did one of the most dangerous things that I could possibly do. Hardcore Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is immediately jump into the water. Before too long, you know how it goes over here. We'll find some drown, and the drown will eventually drown me. Unfortunately, when I aren't life in a hardcore Minecraft world, instead of respawning right here, I get exit world or spectate world. If I tap spectate, I'm only in spectator mode forever. Like, I can't say go ahead and put myself back in survival, even if I could spell the word. <laughs> With hardcore Minecraft, you know how it goes. You've seen the videos. Once you're done, it's done. It all makes me wonder, now that hardcore mode is finally on Minecraft to Bedrock Edition, I wonder if Amplified could maybe be next. Next up, moving on, the creative inventory. Actually, inside of this update, the inventory itself has undergone quite a few different changes and reorganizations. First things first, inside of this tab right here with the bed all the way at the bottom, the trial chamber key. The keys are now right next to each other. 
Ominous bottles, on the other hand, they've been moved over to the equipment tab. They're going to be down here next to the potions. Inside of the nature tab, stone has been moved into the stone group right here. When I go ahead and flick this tab open, I'll also be able to find basalt, smooth basalt, tough, and polished tough inside of this group. Into the construction tab, decorative stone, which is going to be this block right here with the brick. Decorative stone is kind of like the counterpart, the companion of the other stone tab in the other stone menu. I don't know why that's tripping me up so much. Only inside of this construction tab, the decorative stone tab you'll be able to find like the bricks and things like that one thing that has been removed from this little section of the menu however is the prismarine brick block prismarine bricks will now just sit next to prismarine still in the construction tab the raw blocks right here they've been reordered basically in order of their progression we have copper we have iron we have gold but wait there's more still talking about copper inside of this copper section right here all of these blocks have been reordered if you were looking inside of this search one right here where we just have every single block in the game slowly as i start to scroll right here we will find the copper blocks being right next to these raw blocks while scrolling around inside of this menu with all of the things while looking at the doors we'll find the copper doors now and then the trap doors the copper trap doors this will also be the case inside of the construction menu when i open up doors i find the copper doors there and trap doors the copper trap doors there inside of this copper menu we have the blocks sorted by block type then oxidization level then after that we'll get the wax variants of those same blocks now previously before this update the nature tab had the tough family of blocks the tough family of blocks have been moved over to construction their respective variants so let's say maybe tough stairs maybe tough wall or even the bricks they will be in their respective section still on the inventory bricks are now placed before the slabs instead of after the slabs chiseled and cracked nether bricks have now been moved near each other but they're still separated by red nether bricks in the nature tab rooted dirt has now been moved up near the other types of dirt also just in general the order of all these grass and grass like blocks dirt dirt like blocks the specific order has been shuffled to be in parity with java in nature gravel is now ordered after stone next to sand and clay which was previously in construction has now been bumped over to nature because i mean let's face it it's a little bit more natural Whew, now that was a lot of inventory talk you got an opportunity if i miss something there call it out down below but i i don't think you're gonna be able to find something let's move on Flipping things over to the dead of night now. Inside of your world, once the sun sets, if you have the right block sitting around on the surface and enough of a not light, like it needs to be dark enough, you might be able to find a bat spawning because bats will now be able to spawn at any height across your world. This will mean bats will be able to spawn not only inside of caves, but up on the surface too. So if the blocks are right, that's a tricky one. So the blocks that the bat will now be able to spawn on, or just in general, the blocks that the bat needs to have and be down on the ground for it to be able to spawn, that's going to be stone granite diorite andesite tough or deep slate our other requirement here is going to be a dark light level so if you have any of these blocks down on the ground and the light isn't super bright well you'll be able to have the chance for a bat to be able to spawn so yes that would mean if you had a build built out of say all natural deep slate not the cobbled stuff up on the surface and you didn't have any light by it well having these blocks kind of scattered around your base on the ground maybe even in strategic like beautiful boulders or something like that that could allow for a bat to spawn at nighttime a little fun fact about all this actually since the caves and cliffs update bats would just not spawn above like y64 that would lead to a lot of the really high up caves inside of the mountains just never being able to really have bats Oh, technical changes. Inside of this update, we have technical on technical on technical. Really, it seems like the bundles of bravery drop. It seems like this update is the setup for a huge expansion of some of the technical capabilities specifically involving add-ons down the road in the future. One of those really exciting things that seems like it's on the way sometime soon is more powerful structures when it comes to add-ons. Like, in other words, an add-on being able to create custom structures across your world generation. And structures, oh man, we already know, they're one of the coolest features of world generation. But first, in order to make all of this happen, we have a couple of technical blocks in the game. We've got the command block, we've got the tried and true structure block. This thing is beautiful on Minecraft Bedrock, always jealous of it. And then, now we have the much improved and expanded jigsaw block with a brand new UI. Check this UI right here. It looks old, it looks crusty, yes, it looks dated. But, I mean, allegedly, despite all that, it's new here. Now, for those of you who don't know, the jigsaw block is very important when creating structures that are, say, a little bit more complex, like a village. Or, heck, even a little bit less complex, like, say, an outpost. We have an outpost that generates, and then we have different components of the outpost. Say, maybe this empty cage right here, the alley cage in general. 
We could use jigsaw blocks to make sure this structure and these different pieces of it connected correctly instead of the right spots. So these two blocks right here, the structure block and the jigsaw block, they go hand in hand essentially and basically this thing gets even more powerful now. Alongside some of the other nice technical things they set up for inside of this update, I think very very soon add-ons will get a gigantic upgrade with new structures, which is going to be really cool. Experimental features. Usually I would save experimental features for the very end of these videos, but this time inside of this update, we don't actually have any. We have the removal of the bundle experimental feature, and then down here, we have maybe the expansion of these creator cameras experimental features with brand new templates that I you know, definitely have learned how to use them since the last time we talked about these. Yeah. It's great, really, truly it is, and also great inside of this update, we have like about 90-something bug fixes as well, so things should be more smooth than ever before. It's pretty cool, really, but where I think I would like to leave you at today is with the mobs. These mobs specifically that can end up picking up a mace. What if I told you the mobs, they can smash you now? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So if a mob has a mace and it wants to lock onto me, if a mob's got a mace and it jumps down on me, well, that mob... Oh, <laughs> I'll loop it back. I don't know if you could hear it right there. Mm -hmm. That zombie two hit me right there. Mobs, they can smash now. This one is easily maybe one of the most devious changes of all time. The bundles of bravery drop from the bundle to hardcore mode to all those creative inventory reworks. This update is a pretty big update. But that's just about it for today. So next up, if you haven't yet, check out the bundle deep dive, the hardcore mode deep dive. Now's a great time to double check and make sure you're subscribed because with this new Minecraft update cycle, there will be more updates more frequently. I'd love to get to keep telling you all about them and I plan on making a bunch of great guys with the new exciting upcoming features too, like the creaking. Anyways, on the end card will be a playlist for you. If you want to support me even more directly, tap that join button. There's some cool benefits there. It's been me, Waddles, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.